Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Polybridge. We are moving on to the difficult levels now. It's the final campaign. It's called Tropical Paradise and the first level is called Trapdoors. Look at all these new levels. I imagine they're going to be really difficult because the first one looks pretty difficult as well. But we have learned some things recently about this game. At least I have. Many of you have been telling me these things for ages and I am just terrible terrible person as you know <laughs> i'm joking anyway let's start off with a basic bridge formation right here some supports underneath for what we're going to use no particular reason other than perhaps making it clearer to see what's going above or what's going on above would be the correct sentence so um, they all go one after the other a's got to get there b's got to get there c's got to get there simple right well no hydraulics and I've had an idea about how to make this work for us, but I've since sort of realised that maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> It'll make sense in a moment. So I was thinking something along the lines of this. You have a split joint. Ah, okay, okay, fascinating. Well, I had a feeling it wouldn't work anyway, but if this were to sort of fall down um, and hit a split joint, it would connect with it. But there's no hydraulic phase in which for it to end and then those to connect which is when they choose to connect in the game so we can't even make a split joint anyway right so what we have to do what we have to do is i believe let's let's create some wooden support here which i think we're probably going to go with iron on these top ones because some crazy stuff is going to happen um, we will go out there and out there again and then connect all of this up and this is just a rough idea but if we suspend like a rope to here and then have a little bit of road and this isn't in a straight line so it's probably not going to work but something like that we have to wait for the first one to come through and break that so let's see what happens that's absolutely awful let's try that with steel instead because yeah that would be much better no no it wouldn't it wouldn't be much better there's just no correct tension there it needs to be tension set from the beginning so that's not working let's imagine that it did for a second when a comes through and it hits the road it's going to break that and this thing is going to drop so then something else needs to kick in and hold it into place something like that which also doesn't seem to be working either this might take us a long time so how about this we've made a curved bridge slightly higher so that the ones from the top have further to reach downwards, so that's going to go over to the other side. And then what I did is I removed the extra road piece out here, and it stopped this from snapping. So I guess you could say the further out it goes, the heavier it is to this bit right here, which makes a lot of sense. So then the car hits that, this drops, but something needed to stop it from, you know, uh, just falling away. And that is this iron right here. It's going to hit the side and stop it in that position. By the way, it's literally like the first shape that I made. And it almost works, but that thing is still in the way. And it pulls it back up, which I think is hilarious. And then that apparently will collapse. So we can sort that out later and make that stronger. That'll probably just involve a little connection like that. So this first bit works fine. We'll leave that alone. Uh, I say that, we need to sort out this thing as well, though. Uh, but then we need another one, and this one's going to be even bigger. And I'm wondering, does the steel need to go all the way down to the bottom, or will it bump into this bit here? I don't know, but we'll create something bigger that does the same thing directly above it. We have made progress. There have been tweaks and changes to the original design. And this second one here, you can see that point goes all the way down to the bottom. That's because that's oh, that now breaks. Yep, you tweak other things in the level. I have nothing to do with the bit there and, and something breaks. I don't know if I can fix that quickly. Let's add maybe a little bit of wood there. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so what's going on here is rather than connect the road to a cable all the way up to here, we've now just got the road between those two points, and when it breaks, it's sort of holding up the rest of this, and then that's going to swing back. This big bit that points down is a right mess, isn't it? And perhaps I should have tested that before I recorded. We've been doing this all wrong, so I've got a road piece here that the car will drive over, and it will cause that to break, but the two cables stay suspended, and it's the wood that actually breaks. Now I just changed something, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, before it lowered a bit, now the entire thing collapses. So here it goes over that and it breaks it and then it falls apart. So I've been looking at it and thinking, no, this isn't working. 
can we can we move that somewhere safe and then remove it I think what we need to do is have a steel strut like that and then look at this bit more than the whole thing and we can probably lower this a fair bit as well like that could come closer so we're gonna try and use the same technique but now we're starting from further out which is probably what we should have done from the get-go so this idea almost works what we gotta look at is this right here when this swings over it's going to drop that bit and I'm gonna reduce this just a little bit to see if that helps and it's this thing right here you can see there's a cable so when that breaks it's gonna let this one here take over which is currently loose so first one goes through second one comes over and it's just it's just too much because it pulls it down first and then it goes across so let's move it more like that so hopefully it just breaks as it collides with it don't really know if that's the way to do this or we might need a different braking system no we're gonna need a different system so many tweaks and changes many things that have needed to be done here and one of the big ones is the way that this road drops in notice there's a little cable here that's to help it ease down onto this which is a bump in the road deliberately added so we can have the car go over so let's do this one at double speed to begin with there you go down goes the bottom bit then we're going to switch to single speed and then this car should come over and go all the way up because there's a little bump to get it boom up onto that road up it goes level done that took a long time where am I on the leaderboard I would like to know are you gonna load <laughs> it's probably not is it let's go to the next level so three boats one stone we send across a car hydraulic phase boats hydraulic phase and then the car comes back yep look at that it's a heavy one and we only have one hydraulic Wow immediately though an idea popped into my head let's just have a look we're gonna have to open these possibly one side up if that makes sense we've also got room for an extra road anyway the idea that popped into my head was having like something above like this that gets pulled across by a single hydraulic so it's like moved inwards and the whole thing shifts and it lifts everything up yeah that might be how we do it otherwise this one is gonna drive me mad one hydraulic free bridges so I found what I would like to call a dead giveaway which is an anchor point over the back here so obviously you got to do something with that so I've sort of set up a support by having this thing go across the middle literally just to hold that bit over there this is probably overkill originally I was gonna have it do it on both sides um, so that the split joint would be in the middle and you'd pull out each way if that makes sense from the center but I don't think that would work so we're gonna prop up this entire bit and put it over to one side I've just noticed the cable there is incorrect uh, but this doesn't work let's also slow it down because this guy's gonna get to the end here and I believe that yeah ah now that's that was much better so the weight of all of this just pulls it directly over so we're gonna get rid of that cable we're gonna put it over here I also was wondering if we'd need like an anchor point on the other side but it's only gonna get pulled backwards so the problem here really is that that gives way which we don't want it to so how about we make it stronger that shape in my mind would mean that the tension gets directed through that bit there um, so it should be fairly strong let's speed it up and just get it all the way across right down to half speed let's see what happens now and it breaks again probably way too much weight coming in from these bits right here maybe actually that would be easier then if it were like this although you know when you're holding it from this point everything over here becomes heavier maybe that's not the way to go so I've raised these up and leaned them over slightly I'm not sure if that really helped or not but changing this to a triangle and having the hydraulics here sort of works it's pulling straight across that triangle shape is really strong uh, but you'll see that it breaks and judging on where those boats went through I don't think that this thing got pulled down enough so I think you have to find an angle with this thing to sort of pull it in and I'm not really sure how we're going to achieve that okay we have a problem here this works perfectly but we don't get enough sort of pull on it you see this is always going to stay I think relative to that because of the way that it's connected so let's connect this last one up differently we'll go all the way over to the split joint like that so there at three different angles there this thing comes all the way across and they should I reckon all lift yeah to the exact same height so that's not the way to fix that problem unfortunately 
Okay, I don't think this one took us that long at all. I haven't spent much time on this at all. Now, we know this thing can come all the way across, but we will now slow it down, because what I've done is change the angle back to being straight upright, and it pulls it back so much further. That is so cool. It does have to go back down again, though. I got so excited seeing it work that I jumped back in to record, and what happened there, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe these aren't high enough because it clips the top of it, and look, that connects back, and then this goes across, right? Yeah, so that bit works, this just needs to, oh, look at that, you can clearly see it there, so let's nudge it up by two, you might be able to get away with one, I don't know how accurate the, uh, you know, the height of this is, and then just turn the grid off, make sure it's all the way there, that's still on 50%, excellent, let's speed it up, because we know what's going to happen, I'm going to go all the way across, and we might lose a little bit of angle here. Hopefully, oh, we did lose some angle. Oh, that is so unfortunate. So it's taken me a long, long time to figure this one out and I've just tweaked it and made it under budget. So I removed some wood here and there. We should be good though. Uh, here is the deal. It seems like no matter what slant you have this at or how high it is, it doesn't really make too much difference. The difference is the angle of the pulling bit. So I was pulling it straight across from there most of the time. And it wasn't until I swapped to this that then all of a sudden um, something happened and the boats went through. So let's do this. Let's see it in action. And then slow things down so we can see it properly. Because I've been doing everything on triple speed. You know, so many back and forths going on. And look at that right there, much bigger angle, the cables are just above the boat, <laughs> the bridge itself is either side of the boat, and then it can come back down and it can let this thing go across. Off you go, my friend. Oh, and a little bit broke on the way through, which is slightly annoying because I would like to finish this one without anything breaking so that we get, is it the blue block is what you need? Yeah, basically if you complete it without anything breaking, it's, it's slightly different. Is it going to break? Oh, it didn't that time. Changed it ever so slightly. It didn't break. And I can show you what I'm talking about here. Let's go exit. Yes, that's now been finished with blue. So I believe if that broke, it would have just been a green one. So the next level is plow ahead. And I'm not really going to look into this too much. It sort of looks like we have one car going across one way while the other cars go across the opposite way. So, looking at my watch, I realise that that's probably all I've got time for in this episode. And because these are getting a lot tougher, it may just be that we end up doing only two or three per episode, which I hope you don't mind. It does take a lot of time to come up with these solutions, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, remember to leave a like. As always, thank you so much for your support on these videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.